Shit. Mickey like Mantle's it. dead. I don't feel so good myself. Mickey Rooney. All the Mickey's are fucking done. Hell yeah. You're the only Mickey. Mickey I love Rourke, it. the wrestler, that's it. Hell yeah. He had the face. Never again did you hear from him. They gave him a couple million. <laughs> you never seen him again. He's cutting his toenails and shit. It's Mickey from yeah. now on. That's it. Duh. Call fucking Dana oh. tomorrow and say, look, from now on, it's just Mickey. That's what I'm going to get on my shorts. That's just Mickey. I'll tell him. That's it. I like that. And you the punch it. when you knock people out, it's called the Mickey. Okay. Remember when in the 70s, whenever you put a, a Cosby pill, it was called the Mickey. Yeah. People don't know that. It was called Slim the Mickey. Mickey. So, like, you'd wake Slim up, somebody Mickey. slipped me a Mickey last night. No, you fucking asshole. You ate a quail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did? Yeah, you ate a quail. No wonder you fucked up. I'm in. You, I'm sold. That's it, Mickey. That's it. What's up, Joe? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Thank you very much for the gifts. Yeah, no problem. You don't, you don't fuck around. Oh, well, no. I'm, I'm Jewish. You showed up with an envelope. That's it. You showed up with edibles. Papa's favorite. No That's fucking it. around. Some people yeah. show up with like a fucking strudel. <laughs> I don't want a strudel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's going on, gentlemen? Everything. Yeah, Everything out here, you're good. training. Yeah, been here for three months. Yeah. Out here, training with this guy a lot. You know, uh, all over the place. I'm having a blast and working hard, you know. This is like comedy. This is the other side of MMA, where this is like comedy. You're going out of your comfort zone to somewhere else. Like when you start comedy, you start like in Denver, and you're there for like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Then somebody comes to you and says, you got to go on the road. And you start going on the road, and then the fucking hotels are shitty, and people getting murdered next door to you. And you hear women getting banged and hookers and shit like that, but that's yeah. the road. Yeah. And this is what you did. You got out of your comfort zone in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. You came out here, you're training with this fucking killer. Yeah. There's killer. nobody better in the fucking business with yeah. hands and feet and elbows. He'll elbow you to fucking death. Yeah. You take one elbow, he'll still fucking kill you with the one elbow. He'll just keep coming <laughs> like a fucking. I told these guys. Joey's done his homework. I'm He's telling you, a fan. I, I had a teacher, Panacucci. That's what I'm going to call you. Panacucci lost his arm in Vietnam. He only had the stub. So he would put his shop jacket in his pocket, right? He would put only in New Jersey. This guy I'll verify from only in New Jersey, a shop teacher was missing the hand from here down. He was he lost the grenade. It lost up to here. So whenever you fucked off like And he, he was a wood shop teacher? And he was a wood shop teacher. <laughs> you think he sliced that on a my brother, he would hit you with the little elbow right to the kidney that you would drop to a knee right there. He didn't fuck around. There was no parents. Nobody got involved. Mr. Yeah. Panacucci would come over. Mm -hmm. What'd you do? You fucked up the drill. What did I tell you about pressing the drill? What, a, what are you, a fucking... And he just give you a little elbow to the kidney, the little cut-off hook to the fucking kidney and shit. And that's, you, like, that's like that dude Nick Newell, the MMA fighter, yeah, would yeah. want only at the... Yeah. Nope, yeah. Bro, that, that, those elbows, when you lost an elbow, that, that, that like, it's like mule strength. Yeah, short and sweet. Fucking Panacucci. <laughs> uh, there was a local California kickboxer. I don't know it's local California, but a uh, pro Muay Thai fighter, uh, Baxter Humby, it was like a multi-time world champion he had a he was cut off i think right at the just below the elbow and there were some fight like amateur fights he had to wear a glove and then pro fights he didn't have to wear it, and it was like an elbow but he had way different dexterity than like you would have you know what i mean because your arm's not in the way so i think you should fucking people up and shit he's bad you can't defend it you don't know how it's coming it might right. come with a missile well, yeah. don't they have that that guy nick newell or something yeah, he yeah. About to be oh, okay i've trained with nick newell before he's tough yeah, I think they should like you know glove the nub though. I think it's kind of you know what I mean like that thing's kind of it's like it's like they should have to put a glove on something, right? Was well, it at right the, the elbow the or not? It's like a little bit below. Like there's, there's a little bit of the bend, but you you can't armbar that thing. It's not there's not a lot. Wow. Yeah, you find on the contender series. He's a nice kid. It's an inspiring story, you know. No, it is like, inspiring. No? All yeah. that shit. Tonight I was watching some other kid who had a stroke a year ago. Now he's playing high school football. Yeah. He's learning how to fucking walk again. You know what I'm saying? That's fucking. That's crazy to have like. A, he fell off a bicycle, and he had a fucking tumor in his brain or something like Oof. that. He had to learn how to walk again. Now he's playing fucking high school football. All that shit gets me all the time. Yeah. That's you gotta watch the end of the news to get that. The beginning of the news is bullshit. They tell you about Trump and Russia and who's getting fucking who Harvey Weinstein fucked in the ass. You gotta wait <laughs> for the last ten minutes. They show you the black kid with a missing leg. That saved three Puerto Ricans in a boat. You know what I'm saying? Off the coast of the Hudson River save, or something. They say the really like sad shit for them. For them, yeah. the really good inspirational shit. You got That's how left. the news gets you. Yeah. You got anything left after the politics? Check after out they the, shoot everybody, this one legged and they, kid, and they rob transvestites from going to the bathroom and yeah. the whole fucking thing. Now at the end, a little feel like good. A, yeah, like the... an emotional story from Boulder City, Nevada, where they made the Fisher <laughs> pen last week. That's the pen that went to the moon the first time fifty years ago. Fisher pen. 
So I said, well, what's that emotional story? Who gives a Frenchman the fuck? Anyway, we were talking about training camps. Yeah. And what's interesting about training camps is like, all right, something like Joe. Joe's got two children. You know, Joe, it's tough to be away from your kids. Yeah. Six weeks in, in fucking Santa Fe or something, wherever the fuck you're going to be. You know? Right. Got a little airplane action. I'm fucking believable. I'm sitting here two hours, not a plane up in the sky. Over. I started a podcast also in Pablo Escobar wants to fucking show up with 20 Colombians and shit and Barry Seal with American Made. What's his name? Fucking Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> That's tough going on the road. Like, nah, I would love to just live on the road. Like, if I was just married and we didn't have this five year old, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. I'd leave for two and a half weeks for the show. Yeah. I'd be yeah. working fucking every night except Monday and Sunday. I'd be on the road six, Hotels. five nights a week. Yeah, three yeah. weeks, come home for a week or two, go back out. But you can't do that when you have kids, unless you're an animal. Yeah. Unless you want your kids to think you went to fucking prison or something like that. You know? <laughs> sure. You're gone. You're gone. And I'm telling you, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me at all. Like, I, I leave six days a month. I could stand that. I could barely stand that. That's enough. How old's your daughter? Five. Five. Oh, that's awesome. I'm an old man with a fucking five-year-old. I drop her off at camp every morning. The parents look at me all fucking weird and shit. You're like my dad. My dad has a five and a three-year-old. That's He crazy. remarried and, yeah, he's got little babies. That's crazy. Yeah. That's the new, you know, that's the new thing. The yeah. little dick when you're 55 and shit. Hell yeah, that's exactly it. Have <laughs> a bunch 55. of kids when you're 55. Fuck yeah. it. Who gives a fuck about the heart attack? I take two aspirins a day. <laughs> yeah. One in the day and one at night. Who gives a shit? Yeah. So nobody's got a fight schedule here. We're nah. just training, just <clears throat> training, up getting the better. game, chomping at the bit though. Any any Ready day I fucking. should I should have a I should have a contract like any day. I'm waiting. You know. What just about you, Big Joe? Uh, same thing. I'm gonna kick or uh, switching over to MMA. I'm kickboxing. I just signed a contract. I'm just waiting for a matchup. Hopefully, August September. You learned some jujitsu from fucking Mickey. Yeah, I've been training Mickey's Mickey. Mickey's a mad motherfucking jujitsu man. Yeah. Mickey, Eve Edwards, and you know, all the guys have been working a lot, so I'm feeling good. Dude, you look good. He's he's turned a corner too. Like certain things he would do, he'd like turn his back and he's getting up. He's changed his game and like he just did a jujitsu tournament, the high rollers tournament a few weeks ago. Did you? Yeah. Dude, he uh, did great. <laughs> he's he's he submitted to the straight ankle lock. He, dude, he did awesome. But like you could tell in the last week, like he started like really like, like well, I'd say the last two weeks he started really like bearing down and like was is getting everything and like was strong and like using every he's moving correctly. Like it's it's awesome. It's awesome. Joe might be some. I call him Jujitsu Joe. He might I mean, be submitting I'm, I'm, some motherfuckers soon. I mean, just ask Mickey. I'm pretty much black belt, right? Like, pretty just much. Give, just give me the black belt already. I'm ready. <laughs> We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.